you think you are savage or you think you're the only one that knows how to be saucy wait until you see what being savage is like what's up wonderful people welcome back to everything with not sandy and if you just see my face for the first time welcome 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 I just say that you subscribe and put on the notification button because here we're going to give you all the important and juicy information that you need and for my returning subscribers thank you guys you guys are my champions and just to go right into what we have for today guys apparently we go ahead praying for to land that's very wonderful job we pray to god you know to land that job that we have been aiming for that job that we have been begging god for and at the end of the day it feels like god grants our request but then village people village people this is what they call village people enemies will not allow you to succeed and triumph the way you should because it feels like at the last minute where you're supposed to actually bag the job then you do something very very stupid you do something very very awkward and then you lose your opportunity now i know that there are a lot of factors that can make you not ace your job interview maybe unpreparedness or maybe you lack some of the qualifications that they need for that job or it could be your mode of presentation was not so great and you were not impressive enough to the employer for a couple of other reasons and there are some factors that you cannot even help there are people that go as far as not giving you a job because of where you are from your ethnicity or whatever or your religion there are many very weird reasons but then you have situations whereby you actually are qualified for the job you have all the criteria, but one little thing that you do will actually tarnish your hard work now let's look at the matter for today so this one is a behavioral problem now this doesn't have to do with the person's qualification or whatever the case may be this is is technically behavioral problems now let's just look at what's happened here guys so he says that a man failed to make it past the front desk during a recent interview after the hiring manager posed as a receptionist test his moral standing he didn't even pass the reception not to even talk of seeing any of the offices from the reception they just told him my guy use the exit yeah use the front door be going just go you cannot even stay for this interview apparently what we don't know most times is that employers use different ways or different modes of interviewing potential employees but you wouldn't know because you would just expect that oh it's the normal mode you just go into the office you talk to the employer in fact you don't even see the employer most times you might see the hr or something you might not even see the owner of the company so people just feel like okay the only person i have to comport myself in front of are the people that are literally interviewing me but that's wrong because this person was literally away from the reception he didn't didn't make it pass he didn't survive there are many people trying to apply for this particular sport that you are applying for it's quite competitive so everybody needs you to be at your best and most times employees look for those that are qualified but at the same time they look for people that also have good attitude towards the job as well and in life in general so he says the unlucky because he was really unlucky so the unlucky job hunter was shown the door no sooner that he had walked through it after giving of the wrong signals upon entry the tale shared on the reddit life pros tip for highlights how one firm tries to weed out an unfriendly applicant today a candidate blew his interview in the first five minutes after he entered the building you see the hiring manager at this particular company had disguised themselves as the receptionist <laughs> to see how interviewees will treat their potential future colleagues. Explaining how it all went down, an employee said he was dismissive to the receptionist. She greeted him and he barely made eye contact. She tried to engage him in conversation. Again, no eye contact, no interest in speaking with her. What the candidate did not realize was that the receptionist was actually the hiring manager. Hey, 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 this is the time that you start to speak in tongues because what is this? Like, what in the hell is this? I think this is the first time I'm actually hearing of an employer taking this route. The thing is that once you enter into an organization, guys, calm down, let's finish reading. She called him back to the conference room and explained how every single person on a team is valuable and worthy of respect. Due to his interaction with the receptionist, the hiring manager did not feel he was a good fit. Thank you for your time, but the interview is over. It's over. It's over. O V E R in caps. Over. Be nice to everyone in the building. Reacting to the post, one person said, It wouldn't matter if the hiring manager was in disguise, the man would still be likely to get found out. So, Nemesis will catch up with you eventually, even if it doesn't happen now, it will happen later on. You cannot hide your character for a very long time, and that's on period. Now, it reads, I will add, as someone who has been on every step of the hiring ladder, even if the receptionist wasn't the hiring manager, the receptionist will still get her two cents in at the water cooler while decisions are being made. In a few fields, I've worked 
consulting it wasn't just the people in the conference room that were consulted before making an offer be on point at all times every employee is a potential teammate and they are all assessing you i don't know how we even need to explain this part to a sensible human being i'm not coming for anybody but me personally working into an organization the first people i have it in mind to be nice to are the people at the front desk you know the truth is that you don't even know who is at the front desk because it might be the actual receptionist but this receptionist might be related to the owner of the company did you think about that the re receptionist might be the sister or the brother of the employee okay the fact that they are in the reception does not make them less of a human being we need to change our perceptions honestly we need to change these stupid ideas that we have sometimes these awkward ideas that we have sometimes we need to work on ourselves we have a lot of work some of us as individuals have a lot of work to do on ourselves we need to change the kind of mindset that you have you need to start seeing people as human beings seeing people as equals seeing everybody as the same because why would you walk into an organization you are looking for a job you haven't even crossed anywhere and you are passing the front desk and you feel like the person sitting down in front of that desk does not deserve your respect does not deserve your attention first point contact that i am always nice to i go to you hi good morning i'm here for an interview blah 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 why is it difficult for you to make eye contact do you think you are better than the person that is sitting across that table from you because they have the word receptionist receptionists are human beings it's a noble job at least they are not stealing from people or they are not doing shady businesses or doing things that are illegal to make a living so please let's all try to be very respectful people everybody in the company there's this part that i actually had in mind while reading this it said the receptionist will still get her two cents in at the water cooler while decisions are being made and what i understand from this is they're trying to say that everybody has an opinion especially when it comes to like employing people this receptionist was there when you came for the interview the employer might be fond of the receptionist i might just pass the receptionist at a dispenser maybe the receptionist is trying to get water i might just pass the receptionist and be like what did you think about that candidate that walked in today what do you think about him and that's it basically whatever that person says might make or mar your getting that job maybe you you've seen the employer and you were able to pretend to them that you are a nice person you are polite the employer is so sure that they're going to take you and just bumps into this receptionist and is like what did you even think about that person expecting that they were going to say nice things about you and then suddenly the receptionist is saying oh my god that candidate was so horrible passed me at the reception he didn't even try to greet me he didn't even try to say hi to me or whatever obviously there is no way that employer will give you that job again because they now know that you were being shady because everybody knows that anybody meeting an employer is always trying to create a front and be nice some people are real to themselves but then some other people try to go extra mouth to please their future employer apparently from that little conversation that is what they mean by the receptionist would have her two cents in you know probably anywhere it could be on the corridor it could be when the person goes to even drop a file in the employer's office it could be anything it might not even just be the receptionist trust me it could be the cleaner in the organization the point here is that you need to respect people no matter what position they are holding the fact that they are not the main employees doesn't make them less of a human being so we need to be respectful and i really respect whoever this boss is because it shows that they know what they are doing and it shows that they have respect and values for human beings now i know that there are some employers that don't even give two cents about employees or future employees and they don't even care about you know humanity or but then this boss is a very very exemplary boss because for him to make this kind of you know even choose this as an avenue to interview people i think it is top notch this is kind of attitude that gets the grammy honestly this kind of attitude should get the grammy this kind of attitude should go in the world guinness book of record for the savage boss because this person is too good and these are the kind of people that you'd like to work on that's the kind of people that you vision yourself working under because you know that there are people that will not just care about their job or their company doing better but will also care about their staff and their employees as well so guys i hope that we have learned one or two things see in this conventional period people are taking different routes to different things people are living the normal route of things or normal process of things and they are using other methods there's another video i would up with it's still regarding this employing tactic or employing methods that something similar to this one as well but it was another means that the employer used as well to employ candidates into his organization a different one as well and it's good that we know all these things because it's not just enough to just look for this job because you could use five years to look for a job and finally get one interview slot and go for the interview and still blow your chance even before what would this person tell their family members now when they say oh how did your interview go and you say i was walked away right from the reception it's quite embarrassing i don't think this person will have the mind to even tell any of the family members that oh this story going around i'm the one it happened so i don't think they would have the mind to do that because it's very embarrassing and to what end because you were rude because you thought that you were sassy because please let's start doing better for ourselves let's start doing the right thing let's start treating people the way we want to be treated if i have a slogan a very important slogan for me i have so many slogans that i go by but there's one that is very important 
important to me do not treat people how you don't want to be treated do unto others what you want them to do to you and that is what i use in my daily life at work in dealing with people generally and all aspects of my life because if i know that this attitude will not sync well with me if it happens to me i wouldn't want to do the same thing to another person or give another person that same attitude so i think we should start doing better for ourselves we should start treating people equally and start treating people kindly and respectfully ever it is even if it's the person at the bottom of the organization's organogram doesn't matter show respect and show love to everybody and i want you to go out there spreading as much love and respect to as many people as possible today and guys we've come to the end of this video i hope you've learned something today and i hope you start changing those nasty attitudes of yours if you're one of those people that always do this thing even when you go to like new workplaces you come in as a new person be nice to people okay and even if you are meeting the person in the organization be nice to them as well some people feel like oh i've been here for years i don't who are you i don't know you please move to the side newbie and you know they start giving all sorts of attitude it's not nice be nice to whoever you come across because you don't even know where you need that person's help life doesn't stop at where you meet somebody life continues from there and it's a small world we all know that already and you can meet this person in a higher position later on where they will be of help to you or it could be a relative of that person that you treated poorly so you never just know so always be at your best 24 7 always the watchword there is always be at your best and guys this wraps up this video and i will see you in my next video but before i go if you have not liked this video please like this video and also subscribe and turn on your post notifications so when i bring videos like this similar to you similar to what you like you'll be the first to know about it and until my next video take care i'll see you guys Bye.